since the last time we shot a video in the shop. And there's a reason for that. Uh, it's because I wanted to take a little bit of time to try and keep organizing things a little bit. And the good news about the award, well, the, the third place of the award that we received. You see, back before I worked here, this place, Ideal Bikes, it used to be a used bike store. A place that you could come to and get a bike for like under a hundred dollars. It was the type of place that you came to when you were super hard up and you just needed something to get you around. It was a great place to come in, get super cheap service, deal with some people who were pretty good, and get into a bike for just, like I said, a pretty ridiculously low amount of money. Now around 2011, 2012, ownership switched. And in that time, the stores kind of changed from cheap used bikes to more of a traditional bike store. I mean, you can still kind of see remnants of the fact that this used to be a bike store that built up used bikes and turnaround was, was huge and massive. That's not so much the case anymore, but there's always been the growing pains that have gone along with it. Now in that time, from the early 2000s to now, there was a big shift in what was a very popular bike store in HRM, in Halifax. We, or them, as in Ideal Bikes back in the day, used to win the Coast's Best of Halifax almost every year. They had a straight reign from, just wanna check this to make sure that I know, from 2004 all the way up to 2011, they were number one, except for one year where another bike store won in 2010. But every year, Ideal Bikes won that award. From 2012 onward, Ideal Bikes was never even in the top three. Now, why I'm bringing this up is in the last year, I've put in a half decent effort into trying to turn the name of this place around a little bit and get it a little more recognized by doing these vlogs, by posting on our social media. And this year, we're back on the podium and we got the bronze place. Okay, so that's partially to blame for lack of posting in the store. The next reason is purely because I wanted to try and keep changing things before I updated you on anything that was going on. But now I'm to a point where I'm like, okay, I have an idea of what I'm trying to do. I have an idea of how I want everything laid out. So I think it only makes sense to actually go over it and get a little bit of your feedback on like what you might think I have going on. Now the idea behind this wall is pretty apparent, I like to think. It's, you know, accessories, bottles, things that you're gonna want. The whole idea behind the design of it is I want everything to be at eye level and I want things to catch your eye. My whole idea with this is I want people to be able to come in and see the things that they want or need without having to talk to me too much. Because when I'm the only one here and I'm working on something, the whole idea is I want people to be able to see what they need or want for their bike at eye level without having to really kind of search around for it. I didn't want it to be too, too busy, and I didn't want anything to be up too high, and I don't want anything to be down too low. Everything here kind of has a purpose for the height that it's at, and I guess that's really it. I just kind of have a select amount of things that I want people to see. In reality, it kind of makes my life easier because I know what I need for inventory. For example, I'm, I'm empty on stuff here, and I can, easily reorder that stuff. Of course that sort of minimizes choice a little bit, but it also makes my life a little bit easier. The same thing is happening over here where I kind of have everything down at that eye level. I could probably go one more row up and then beyond that, the products just aren't going to be seen. So this wall still has some work to be done. I have lots of space left up up here, um, but the whole idea behind this is like this kind of stuff over here, like saddles, tires, bars, kickstands and everything like that is purely because the lighting is nowhere near as good over here and it's just kind of uglier on this part of the store. When you come into a bike store and you know you need tires, you're gonna go to the tires. Nothing's gonna catch your eye. You're not gonna walk by this and go, oh, I never even thought to go with a tire. None of this is really gonna catch your eye. 
you're going to either ask me about it or you're going to know what you want and you're just going to kind of like pick it. Like I think we could probably all agree with that. This wall is significantly brighter and everything kind of shows a lot nicer on it. Something like this is going to catch your eye easier here than it's going to over there. So this wall is much more valuable to me for accessories and parts and everything than this one is. So I think there's still a good amount of stuff that I could maybe switch between the two. Uh, but right now, for the way things work, this has been pretty good. I'm very happy with this setup. On these two walls, this wall, well, there's no denying it's kind of bare. I don't know what I want to put here yet, but uh, the more and more I put product up, the better it starts to look. But you can see how everything's kind of beat up. And uh, I think my solution for that is I'd like to go out with the guys on the team and take some photos and just frame those up and uh, hang them, hang them above it to kind of fix it up. Uh, I definitely have some talk of like wanting to in increase a little bit of the clothing in here, um, but it's quite dusty and I don't really like that. Um, I don't want dust to build up onto clothing. So I think it would be nice to maybe build a cabinet over it to try and protect the clothing from that. Future projects. Winter is coming, so we can deal with that then. Now this wall, this was the wall that I originally kind of came up with. It hasn't done what I was hoping it would, and I have a feeling that it's because the lighting on it isn't very good. At this location, it sort of makes sense for us to be doing more commuter-related style stuff. Um, so I would like to be doing more bags and more racks, uh, eventually going to a point where we can bring some even nicer stuff in. But that's a slow step. It's a slow process to get people to kind of understand what this store is and, and what it's for. Because right now it doesn't have all that much of an identity. We've got too many bikes and we've always had way too many different products. It was hard to come in here and kind of know what you were coming into. It's always just kind of been a mess of different things. We've done mountain bikes, we've done road bikes, we've tried to do the boutique thing, but none of it really ends up working. The thing that has always worked in the past, and unfortunately the awards sort of prove it, is lower butt stuff needs to happen here. Um, and I think the store sort of reflects that a little bit too. It can be elevated for sure, but I think we need to kind of go back to the commuter and entry level rider style store. Stuff that pretty much anybody who's not really into riding could kind of get into, and then sprinkle some of the stuff that I like into it. I think some reworking of a lot of what we have here needs to happen. And that's sort of the steps I'm taking right now is I haven't really ordered in a whole bunch of new stuff so that I can figure out how to wrap my head around what I should have on those walls at that eye level and then figure out what I can put in like one row above and then one row below. And then those be the products that I really wanna grow. But right now it's quite the learning curve for me because really the shop needs to find its identity. And I think through this vlog and I think through everything I've tried, I think I'm getting there. I think I'm starting to get a good grasp of, of what this shop is going to be and, and the direction that it's going to go in to, to help it grow and, and profit off of everything that I've been doing. But we're not there yet. Although, getting back on the coast's best of Halifax podium definitely makes me feel like we're going in the right direction. Okay, uh, it is the... It is the end of the day, so I'm going to go, so I'm getting out of here, um, there is, there is an awards ball for all of the winners and like the, the people who kind of earned uh, a spot in the Coast Best Of, and uh, I bought, I bought some tickets for Angela and I to go, um, I didn't really think I'd be as excited about this as I am. Also, look at all this hair that's kind of coming. I sort of forgot to mention, if you're a viewer of this vlog and you voted for this shot in the best of Halifax, Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that.